so I'm currently on macOS Big Sur which is at the moment in its beta stages and some of the issues that I'm experiencing at the moment with the current beta version that I'm on AirPlay just stopped working for no reason on the beta that I'm on and also AirDrop stops working when i'm sending files from my iphone to my macbook the files either disappear or they do not deliver at all so i don't know what's going on with all my air functions it seems like all the air features of the mac are finally dropping to the ground and gravity has got the better hand of them and also sometimes my mac is a bit laggy when doing some processes and sometimes it reboots but on rare occasion just to mention a few so these are some of the issues that i'm facing so there's no doubt that we need an update and we need it soon so in this video i'm going to be talking about a possible release date for macOS big so beta 6 both public beta and developer beta 6 and some expected changes that will come with it if it's your first time watching on this particular channel though definitely stick around so that you stay up to date with all the macOS update videos that we'll be covering in this channel we'll be covering issues we'll be covering expected features and we'll be covering some expected macbooks that will be upcoming soon in upcoming videos on this channel so first things first let's start off with the possible release date for macOS pixel beta 6 now when it comes to macOS pixel developer beta 4 it was released on the 4th of August and then macOS Pixel Beta 5 was released on the 19th of August so when it comes to macOS Pixel Beta 6 the developer version we can expect it somewhere between the 1st of September or the 2nd of September if we follow Apple release pattern when it comes to macOS Pixel and then when it comes to public beta 6 we can expect it the following day or two after we see the developer version and hopefully from now on we'll be seeing weekly updates when it comes to macOS Big Sur betas as we get closer and closer to the final release version or the actual release of macOS Big Sur. When it comes to the update size expected for beta 6 it is estimated to be roughly around 5 gig or smaller and the expected build number is expected to have an e or an f at the end now these are some of the issues that we expect to be resolved and the changes expected when it comes to macOS pixel beta 6 the first one has to do with final cut pro so if you use final cut pro and you use motion vfx plugins sometimes you find that they won't work on beta 5 of macOS pixel however the same plugins that won't work on beta 6 of macOS pixel are working on catalina so this is something that we expect beta 6 to fix i've experienced this and i've reported it using the feedback app and also something else that we expect to see fixed when it comes to beta 6 is compatibility fix for the new retina 5k 27 inch 2020 iMac and overall stability improvement for the iMac when it comes to macOS Pixel. Now iMac users who have the new 27 inch iMac spent a lot of money to get that hardware and if latest hardware means you can have the latest beta or the latest software that is out then that is inconveniencing those that spend big bucks for Apple and Apple doesn't definitely want to disappoint these users so this is something that we expect beta 6 to fix when it comes out something that we also expect to see fixed with big Sur has to do with youtube in safari sometimes it's slow and buggy especially when going from full screen and back again now some users are reporting that after updating to beta 5 of macOS Pixel, their macbooks are restarting every 20 seconds or so on and the only way you can use your mac is in safe mode and that is basically inconveniencing you and you can't do much in safe mode so this is an issue that quite a number of people are experiencing and this is not affecting just the macbook pro or macbook air or imac it's affecting all types of Macs. so a number of people have reported this and this is something that we expect to see fixed airdrop fix and stability improvement when it comes to airdrop and airplay is another change that we expect to see when it comes to macOS pixel beta 6 now at the moment with beta 5 that i'm on i can send files from my mac to my iphone and that would work however if i do the process the other way around and send files from my iphone to my macbook pro those files do not show up sometimes they do not even deliver and sometimes the mac makes a sound as if the files have delivered but shows nothing and if i search the files up manually sometimes i find them but on rare occasions so this is something that i'm experiencing and i've reported it also and we expect to see this issue fixed 
Now screen usage is not showing up for some MacBook Pro users. So with Beta 5, we saw some move around and changes that took place when it comes to power settings. And this affected the screen on time and the way you basically interact with your device to show battery percentage and so on. So this is a fix that we expect Beta 6 to fix as quite a number of people are experiencing this. Also overheating has been reported on the MacBook Pro and MacBook Air. So if you are experiencing this, this, this does slow your performance down be it on the macbook air or macbook pro this is a non-issue and it's been reported and we expect this to be fixed with beta 6. now on macOS pixel beta 5 third-party apps are sometimes having issues opening and if they do open sometimes they slow down the device or have issues performing basic tasks so if this is an issue you're experiencing it's also expected to be fixed now improved audio handover is also something that we expect to see implemented when it comes to macOS pixel beta 6 it's something that has been sort of partially implemented in ios 14 beta 6 and we should be seeing it on the mac and basically this will mean a more seamless user experience when doing audio handover between let's say for example your iphone to your macbook or to whatever apple device you are using so this is another new feature and improvement that we expect to see with beta 6 now let's head over to youtube into the community pool to see some of the comments and votes that the people put in when it comes to macOS pixel beta 5 both public beta and developer beta so we have a total of around 120 votes and you can see that the most voted option is that that it's great 31 people said it's great nine percent say that it's terrible and 25 percent said it's okay but a few bugs here and there 18 percent said i'm on catalina or order and 18 percent said i use windows so we have a tie between windows users and catalina this windows number seems to keep rising i don't know if more people are reverting back to windows but for me i would definitely say macOS pixel beta 5 is okay but it has a few bugs here and there but it's good to see that for most of you you voted great and if we look at some of the comments that we have here you can see that tech sampler studio said my 12 inch macbook is slower than with catalina i actually made a speed comparison video about it now that sounds interesting and something that i would like to see so i would definitely check it out and then sander said my laptop is overheating and the fans turn while on idle so this is also something that quite a number of each people are experiencing when it comes to beta 5 and beta 6 should sort of try Try to optimize the system with the hardware more better and then the unstoppable gig said mainly the battery life is bad used to get seven and a half hours to eight and a half hours of use on macbook pro 2020 13 inch and yeah he goes to <laughs> say how much it is but i'm now getting five to six hours of use now that might have to do with some of the software that you are running when on battery for a macbook and also how you've optimized your mac to run on battery as quite a a number of people are actually happy when it comes to battery performance for the macbook the next comment that we have here comes from mambo the owl and he says i keep constantly getting errors when trying to install the big Sur public beta so i decided i'm just going to wait until it becomes commercial in the fall i'm on 10.15.6 i guess he meant until it becomes official in the fall so yeah that is quite a a good choice and i think a number of people have reported that sometimes they are unable to update from beta 4 to beta 5 and i think that is an issue that we've been seeing since the second beta of macOS pixel so hopefully with beta 6 this is something that they can quickly address sasco said great but i noticed a few bugs i guess in only a few days that's what he was trying to say so hopefully they do fix most of the issues that he's facing and nature freak said i'm on late 2014 mac mini and the only problem is that it runs incredibly slow but so did catalina so that's why i pretty much only use sierra or order on separate partitions so hopefully they can fix those issues when it comes to speed now i did mention that you know sometimes the device heats up and 
it this results in slower performance for the mark now if you do relate to any of the comments that you see here do feel free to reach out to them and also to provide any solution if it has worked for you and also don't forget to give feedback in the feedback app as the more people that report an issue the more chances and higher probability that that issue is going to be fixed in the next beta now as mentioned also we could be seeing weekly updates when it comes to markway speaks so uh, finally from now on until we see the gmo public version so basically that's about it for me if you like this video please leave a like and hit subscribe and if you like this wallpaper i will leave it somewhere in the description of this video where you can download the full quality of it and that's about it for me guys stay safe and as always i will definitely see you in the next video very soon cheers